The challenge? Land our first front flips in 24 hours. Here's what happened. Oh! Ooh. Yo, your neck, dude! My name is Haruki Gama. I'm a filmmaker who is challenging myself to learn anything until I've learned everything. Today, we're doing some more tricking as a follow-up to the back tuck, which I've gotten pretty comfortable with. How you done? You've created a monster! Joining me on this challenge is Arnold Cuevas, my personal trainer and friend who shares my passion for learning. Let's see what I can accomplish with uh, sleep and, and caffeine. The first thing we did was do our usual routine of going to the gas station and picking up a very special supplement for energy. Cola balls. Oh, that's what you meant. <laughs> we knew we would get tired from drilling so much, so eating candy like Sour Patch Kids during our breaks was a super efficient way to get immediate bursts of energy. Fatio. Am I allowed to eat this, Coach? That's not bad on my cook here. We'll get this. <laughs> oh my god. What's, what, what are the macros? Let's see. Oh no. What do you mean? Oh, it's one sixth of the package. Then we hit up Monkey Ball. Learning skills can take some time. But we wanted a challenge, and what's a challenge without stakes? All right, so we're at Monkey Vault, and we're here to learn the front flip, as you know. But we have to learn it in the next two hours. Or else we're not going to eat pizza for the next two months. Okay. And we'll do 100 push-ups at the end of the season. Oh, no, no, no. All right, okay. All right, I have to get the front flip then, because <laughs> I can't do 100 push-ups. 100 push-ups. Now, we needed to train the deconstructed movements to develop muscle memory for proper form. Movements happen so fast in the air for flips and tricks, so there's no time to think about what we're doing midair. We need to learn how to do it instinctively. We thought of only two simple drills to help us get into our front flips. Drill number one, we launched our hands into a box and drove our hips up, almost like getting into a handstand position, but without bringing your legs straight up. We did this around 20 times each, and it really helped us learn how to bring our hips up, because we don't want to be flipping by dropping our chest close to the floor. Drill number two. This movement was similar to the first one, except now we would spin forward and launch ourselves onto a crash mat, still driving our hips to lead the spin. After crashing onto the mat, we practiced curling up into a ball to make sure all our movements had intention. Without intention, our arms would just be flailing around. I think we're good for the flip. Huh? I think we, we should practice on the trampoline. Okay. Woo! Okay, that looked pretty clean. Yeah? All right, yeah. Solid. Oh, look. One major thing. And now we gotta practice jumping up. But I just wasn't jumping high enough yet. Before I get to just a crash mat or on the floor, I need to keep practicing. Let's see Arnold's first front flip after he stops getting sidetracked with other flips. Do the front flip! <laughs> Do the front flip! Okay, 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 okay. I want pizza, bro. Oh. That's pretty good. I, I didn't even tuck forward. Okay, we're spinning over, but we share the same issue. <laughs> it's gonna be easier than the backflip. Oh, I'm overflipping now! And overflipping is good because it means I'm spinning faster than I need to land instead of bailing and landing on my back. There you go. I think this is gonna be easier. Let's practice without the trampoline. Without the trampoline? <laughs> up, up, up. I'm grunting so hard. Huh? I'm like, ugh. You're jumping forward. You're going like this. So your starting point, your, your chest is already down. Launching you forward. Shoot your arms up. Notice how far you how far away you are. Are your heads landing here? Why am I doing this still? That means you're doing this. You're throwing up. your head forward. You want to go up and then hips up. Hips up. It's all in the hips. Focus on just pushing your hips up. This one, don't even use your arms. Focus on driving your hips up. Oh, there you go, huh? You flew, you flew, you, you turned so fast. Doing it without arms helped me learn how to bring my hips up, so I'll be drilling that occasionally until I develop the muscle memory for it. I think this will be a faster video than we expected. Yeah. Sure didn't feel that way though, and my sore muscles definitely didn't agree. Can you cork? And we will, in a future video, as long as you like and subscribe. You'll get there. Yo! Injuries are the worst. I, I hate injuries. I've seen it. I've seen it. I flew on that one. I feel more confident doing this than the back. <laughs> it feels so clean, dude. Okay, the confidence has been built, and now it's time to get back to the crash mat. 
No more trampoline. There, jump up. We just gotta add the jump. Oh! Oh! There it is. I'm just over flipping now. Yeah. I gotta control like my spin. I don't even think you jumped that time. Oh fuck. Huh? I know, I know. And you have to like hollow your body. Your yeah. Body has to be like, yeah. Okay. Hey! Oh. Again, do it again, do, do it again, do it again, right? Okay, what do you think you did wrong that second time? I jumped too far and I kept myself open for too long. A big part of our fails or near fails were the fact that we were diving forward as if we were swimming when instead we wanted to jump up and aim high as if we were flying. I need to jump. We started to get fatigued, so that called for a 5 minute break. By 5 minute break, I mean fooling around with anything but front flips. Check out how low I can get my back tuck. Anyways, back to what we need to do. Yeah, my, my shins hurt too! Ooh. Yo, your neck, dude! Did I even jump up? No! There we go, that was yeah. pretty good. I, I need a tuck now. Oh. You you got it, but you didn't jump. My success rate of flipping when I do this is way higher. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, keep, I'm gonna practice that. Yo, what the fuck? That was so high. That was so good. Oh, that was so good. Oh, fuck. I'm like grunting so hard. Okay, no more mats. Does that count? No. No? No. Here were my first attempts on the floor without a mat. Oh! Very bad for my back. My traps are gonna die the next day from stabilizing all the whiplash. What am I missing? There's not enough momentum for your turnover. What's helping me with my turnover is like my, my inflexibility is like helping me spin. Ah. Yeah. Okay, now we just have to stick it. There we go, Arnold. The only thing is that he's dropping his chest way too low and he's not sticking the landing. And I'm still making the same mistakes, but I can't figure out what it is. Good thing I met Eric today, because he told me vital advice that would immediately help me spin over successfully. He noticed I was under committing all of my flips and spreading my arms to catch myself too early, which is why I always stayed so open and landed on my butt and back. He said over committing is much better than under committing. After that, Arnold went for his next attempt. And he sent it. Oh! Yo! This hyped me up to make my own attempt, but I undercommitted. I needed to drop that fear of bailing, because bailing is a choice. Eric reminded me exactly what I needed to do. I needed to send it. So that's exactly what I did next. I psyched myself up, and I overcommitted. Yeah! Thanks bro, thank you. Yeah, yeah, just overcommit and I can keep going, yeah. Awesome. We're landing the flip, but not consistently. There's something missing that we can still improve on, but what is it? I mean, it's a good thing we're literally in a place where trickers go here almost every day and know the ins and outs of flips. This is Andy. Arnold and I have known him since elementary school, and he's been tricking for several years. We came up with two drills at the start, but Sandy gave us one more. So lock your legs. When you lock your legs, try going like this and try getting your foot off the ground without bending. Almost impossible, right? Now try the other way, this. Toes, watch my toes. Watch. Impossible. But watch this. This will give you so much power. If you keep your chest up, you go like this, and you tuck, you're gonna get around. If you add that with a jump, you're, you're flying. If you feel like going down, stop. Ground your back up. Go like this. We still feel a bit unsatisfied with our sticks. So we're not really sticking it. He has to roll because it's over flipping. And then I'm under flipping, I think. We'll get it. We drilled. Yeah, we drilled like the chicken drill for like two minutes, so it should be good. We'll try it again. All right, let's, let's get to it. Okay, let's yeah. drill it. Right, let's actually practice the flips again. Okay. okay. How are you going to practice then? <laughs> You're not practicing your flips. You just said oh, you yeah, practice. Yeah. <laughs> what You're doing so much energy, bro. I'll pick this guy up later. Oh! Whoa! What happened? I tried doing the hamstring, but I goofed. 
You good? I shed blood today. Huh? Oh no. Okay, I got it there, but started regressing. I knew all of the deconstructed parts of the front flip. What happened? Then, Zandi told me something that made me realize that I can't just know the deconstructed parts of every flip or movement I do. I have to always put it together. It's not step one, step two, and step three. It's all in flux. Put it together and flow. Success. Pizza is a go for us, and now we can spend the rest of the night having fun and fool around with different flips. I've seen that. Where they, they go. Definitely a little bit more painful. Yeah. And I'd, like you have to trust yourself a little bit more compared yeah. to the back tuck. Because mm -hmm. the back tuck is the moment you get the jump, you just gotta tuck and then that tuck initiates the flip. Yeah. With this, it's kind of a mixed feeling with your hips up, elbows up, chin tucked down. <laughs> One of the main things why I feel like it's a bit easier is we're going forward. We're used to going forward versus back back tucks. Back, back tuck, back. I get scared of not spotting the ground. So I'm blind for the first half, but with the front flip I can see it the entire time. But I think the drill is kinda, I wanna say give us a shortcut. Yeah. But helped us ease into it. Yeah, for sure. Cause again, it's the same thing as the back flip. We know the deconstructed parts. We just had to put it together. All right, good job, man. Okay, we can't eat pizza, but let's eat something else. <laughs> If you want to try learning the front flip yourself, make sure you have help and do it as safely as possible. Although we learned it, we have a long way until we've mastered it. It's awesome that we got this flip down and it'll only add to an ever-growing arsenal of skills. Front flip, unlock. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Haruki Gaman and I want to learn anything until I've learned everything. Want to challenge me to learn something in a future video? Make sure to drop it in the comments below. Lastly, hit like and subscribe so you can join me in becoming the ultimate hobbyist. See you soon. Can you be normal for a second? You okay? Yeah, now you're exaggerating a bit. I didn't want to spill on myself. <laughs>